Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay, welcome to lecture 95. So, uh, already we were discussing about the interception in non coplanar orbit. So, this is the figure I have shown here and I have stated the problem also in the last lecture. So, we are going to work out this lecture and from this already the basic concepts I have given. Okay, the same concept is going to be applied to this problem. So, the first step we calculate the time required to go from this point to this point. So, this is T B C in the circular orbit. This is a case of circular orbit, this can be also elliptical orbit, the polar orbit can also be elliptical. So, calculate T B C in the circular orbit, T B C in the circular orbit, this will be time period. So, already we have written uh, this particular part a q divided by mu under root times phi, uh, phi b c uh, from b to c. So, the angle that angle we need to use here. So, phi b c this angle we can indicate this as the phi b c this is phi b c. So, phi b c by 360 degree or 2 pi. If I write here in degree, so accordingly we have to manage. Okay. And A is here 2.5 r. So, this becomes r to the power 3 by 2 times mu under root and here 30 degree plus What we are doing that uh, T B C this quantity will be T times phi B C divided by 2 pi. So, this is 2 pi A q by mu under root and times phi B C by 2 pi 2 pi 2 pi cancels out phi B C. So, and then phi B C then we have to write in radians. So, th this we should not write here then if we are writing this way. So, this part should not come and uh, phi b c once we have expressed this way then phi b c should enter as a radian. So, 30 degree times phi by 180 degree. So, so r to the power 3 by 2 divided by mu under root and phi by 6 this much of seconds, because we are going to use the unit of mu in kilometer cubic per second square and our unit will be using as kilometer. So, this will come in the kilo in seconds. Okay. So, unit will be in terms of seconds. So, if we insert the values now here r is here in this case r equal to 2.5 r. So, 2.5 and r is 6378 kilometers. I have taken here the radius of earth is 6378, which is the uh, equatorial radius. So, if we insert these values here in this place, we get here and mu we, I have taken as 398600 kilometer cubic per second square. So, insert these values and then you get this as 1670 seconds. So, this is time in the circular orbit. Now, the second step is assume theta a. 
assume theta a and this requires little skill or experience or visualization okay so the, which is the position of a with respect to the with respect to perigee of the assumed transfer orbit let theta a be equal to 340 degree then we use this expression et equal to rc minus ra divided by ra cos theta a cos theta a plus phi you can assume any other value okay there is no problem in that then rc we have to insert ra we have to insert all these things we need to insert in this so in the transfer orbit now you can see that this is the transfer orbit shown by the orange line and ra is 1.5r and rc is 2.5r so ra and rc is known to us so we can utilize those information 2.5 minus 1.5 r divided by 1.5 cos theta a minus 2.5 cos theta a plus phi phi here in this case the angle from this pink line to this green line this is 90 degree so this is 90 degree here and then r we have to take it outside so this r this r we can cancel out okay this leaves us with uh, 1 divided by 1 plus 1.5 cos theta a minus 2.5 cos theta a plus 90 it could this become sin theta a and this uh, theta plus uh, because this is in the second quadrant so we replace it by plus here in this place cos theta a plus uh, plus 90 degree okay so this et and then theta a is here 340 degree okay. so et will turn out to be 1.8 so that means for the assumed theta a the orbit turns out to be a hyperbola now compute ra va square divided by mu this we need to work out and this quantity is 1 plus 2e cos theta a plus e a square divided by 1 plus e cos theta a so you can observe here that uh, 2e is already given this is et 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 1.8 and cos theta a this is 340 degree because for here if you go and look here in this figure so cos theta a it's a locates you are locating this perigee you are locating this line with respect to perigee of the transfer orbit okay perigee of the transfer orbit uh sorry the uh, the point which you are at which you are launching that you are deciding with respect to the perigee of the transfer orbit so here let us say uh as it's a shown here 
it will be difficult to show here in this figure, but, but I will try. Let us say this is the perigee of the transfer orbit, perigee of the transfer orbit. Okay. So, from this place to this place, we have to go all the way from here and come to this place. So, this gives you 340 degree then. That means, the location at which you are launching your satellite, it is a location with respect to the perigee of the transfer orbit is 340 degree. Okay. So, perigee is lying ahead of the perigee of the transfer orbit, it is a lying ahead of the um, this uh, point A here in this case. Okay, so, we insert all these values 1.8 square divided by 1 plus 1.8 cos 340 degree. And then this gives you R A V A square divided by mu equal to 2.72. And then from here we can get A equal to R A divided by R A V A square divided by mu minus 2. So, your R A is nothing but 1.5 R and this quantity already we have derived here 2.72 minus 2. So, this turns out to be 1.5 R divided by 0 0.72 inserting the value for the r which is the radius of the earth this gives 13287 kilometers One three two eight seven kilometers so this is the semi major axis of the transfer orbit once we have got this semi major of the transfer orbit now we can work out so compute in the so calculate T T A C in the transfer orbit. This we need to work out. So we have the equation in the hyperbolic orbit already we have got E equal to 1.8. So, this represents a hyperbolic orbit and therefore, the expression for the hyperbolic orbit we have to pick up. So, E t times E t square minus 1 under root sin theta a plus pi by 2. So, theta a plus pi by 2 where we are locating? We are locating this point C. So, this is referring to point C divided by 1 plus E t cos theta a plus pi by 2 then minus ln and then we have here E t plus 1. This quantity will be theta a divided by 2 and pi by 2 half of this whole angle. So, this becomes pi by 4. So, this minus E t at the point A. So, this is 
corresponding to point C. This whole thing right now we have written this is corresponding to point C. It is square minus 1. Now, we are writing for point A. tan theta a divided by 2. Now, here this is no longer pi by 4 will appear here, because for the theta a once we are writing for the point a. So, it is just its angular position is theta a. So, here theta a by 2 appears and then e t plus 1 minus e t minus 1 tan theta a divided by 2. So, this we need to compute. Okay. So, theta a already we have assumed to be 340 degree. So, this value we need to insert here in this place and work it out and E t we have got as 1.8. So, from here if we insert all the all these values. So, T a c turns out to be 2030 seconds, which is not equal to T B C in the circular orbit. This is in the transfer orbit. So, that means and this side was 1670 seconds. So, th this means this is taking more time the in the transfer orbit in this orange orbit going from A to C, it is a taking more time than the time taken from B to C. So, then what we need to do? We need to send it in further faster orbit. Okay. So, we need to send into the faster further faster orbit. So, from here what we have got T A C this is not equal to T B C. Hence, assume a new value of theta A and repeat the process. So, in the repeat process theta a is chosen to be 338 degree. Okay. So, corresponding E t turns out to be 2.2 okay. and T a c this turns out to be 1670 seconds which is equal to T b c. So, job is done. Okay. Now, once this is done then we need to compute the impulse required and the other things. So, here R a V a square divided by mu corresponding to this will be 1 plus 2 times 2.2 cos 338 degree plus 2.2 whole square and divided by 1 2.2 cos 338 degree. So, from here we can get the velocity at A to be V A equal to mu times 3.2 divided by R A under root 398600 times 3.25 and R A is 1.5 R. So, R is here um, 6378 which we have taken. and this gives 11.63 kilometer per second. So, this is the velocity at A, velocity 
at k in the transfer orbit. Velocity at A in the equatorial torial elliptic orbit how this will be given. So, we use the same equation R v square divided by mu equal to 1 plus 2 e cos theta plus 2 point uh, plus e square divided by 1 plus e cos theta, but here in this case e equal to 0 0.5 and cos theta will be theta here will be 0, because you are taking the transfer orbit, the transfer orbit is going like this okay, and the actual orbit, so remove the transfer orbit, we are discussing about the equatorial orbit. So, this is the equatorial orbit and this is the perigee position. So, it is a given that it is a lying on the perigee here on the z axis the perigee is lying. So, at this position theta becomes 0. So, we once we insert theta equal to 0, so this is simply 2 e or we can write like this 1 plus 2 e plus e square divided by 1 plus e and this is 1 plus e whole square divided by 1 plus e equal to 1 plus e and the actual orbit this is given to be 0 0.5. So, this is 1.5. So, r v square by mu is known to us for the this is for equatorial orbit. At A. Okay, so quickly now if uh, once the R V A square by mu is known, so we can calculate V from this place, this quantity is 1.5 and therefore, we will be 1.5398600 divided by r which is 1.5 r under root. So, this is 398600 divided by 6378 under root kilometer per second and this turns out to be 7.905 kilometer per second. So, thus we have got velocity at point A in the equatorial orbit. So, this we can write as in the equatorial orbit and this part we have got in the transfer orbit V A T. So, this, this is V A T. Now, once we have got the velocity, but these two things are not uh, in the same direction. One is inclined orbit, another one is equatorial orbit. Okay. Then we need to calculate impulse along the uh, all the three axes. Okay. We need to calculate the impulse along all the three axes. So, here in this case tan phi we have to calculate which we have written as E sin theta by 1 plus E cos theta. This gives us this is for the transfer orbit we are going to calculate transfer orbit. For the equatorial orbit we know there the theta is 0, so the phi will be 0 here in that place. Okay. That means, it says just the, if this is the radius vector, so velocity is in this direction. Okay. So, phi here in this case is 0. So, for equatorial orbit orbit phi equal to 0. So, we are calculating here only for the transfer orbit. So, tan phi equal to the corresponding e we need to place here in uh, put here in this place. Okay. So, if we insert all those values, uh, this is 2.2 we have calculated and sin 338 degree divided by 1 plus 2.2 cos 338 degree. So, this turns out this will give a negative value of this. So, tan phi 
minus 0 0.2711143 ok this implies phi equal to minus 15.69 degree it will be a negative one or phi equal to 164.8309341828 something like this so we remove other quantities and we know that the phi value it will range between plus minus 90 degrees. So, we discard this value, we discard this and we keep only this value. Okay. And then I write the final values quickly here in this place and uh, the rest of the discussion I will do in the next lecture. Okay. So, the impulse required Now, one thing uh, we need to note, okay. Let's see. see here, inclined orbit is going like this okay. and this inclination is 30 degree, this is 30 degree. But here we know the perigee position is located for the inclined orbit here, perigee position, which we have got as uh, no, uh, from this place to going all the way and coming to this place, this we have calculated as 338 degree. So, that means 360 minus 338. How much this will be? Uh, 40 plus 2, uh, 22 degree. So, 22 degree it is a lying ahead of this, this is 22 degree, this perigee. Okay. But we have to give impulse here in this point. Okay. So, we will have to make a figure in a little different way to understand this. So, let us assume that this is the polar orbit and uh, your orbit is uh, we need little visualization for this okay So, this is the line z and this is the line x and this is the line y and you are giving impulse at z so that it goes and catches at c, this is the point c, this is point a. So, here phi is given to be minus 15 degree as we have calculated here minus 15.69 degree that means this orbit is going to lie little inside. Okay if I have a line from this place to this place, okay, uh, let me make this figure little properly, so that if we look in the planar view, say if I, if I look here in the x z plane, so if I look in the x z plane, so this is point A and this is point B. Okay. So, your velocity vector projection on the x z plane it is a line like this in this direction, but the velocity vector is lying in a plane which is making 30 degree angle. Okay. Here this is going inside and making with this 15.69. So, this is negative angle okay, on this side and this angle is 30 degree and this is your v vector. So, v vector component along this direction this will be let us say this is phi. So, v sin phi along this direction okay, and along this direction this will be v 
cos phi and this can be broken along two portion one along the z axis and one along the uh, one along the y axis and another along the uh, here x axis so this is along the z axis v z v z equal to v sin phi and v x will be equal to and this i am doing at point a so v a x will be v cos phi times cos 30 degree and v a y will be v cos phi into sin 30 degree so these are the equations that we need to use and insert the corresponding value so v a z will be uh, v we have calculated at a how much it is required this we have already worked out v a t 11.63 so 11.63 into sin minus 15.69 okay. and v a x equal to 11.63 cos minus 15.69 into cos 30 degree and v a y is equal to 11.63 cos minus 15.69 into sin 30 degree. So, this quantity will turn out to be this we already it is a computed. So, this value I will insert here. So, v a x this turns out to be 9.728 this is in kilometer per second v a y this turns out to be 5.616 kilometer per second and v a z this is minus 3.01 kilometer per second. So, already we have velocity along the x axis uh, along the uh, x axis yes because in the equatorial orbit here already your satellite is moving like this. So, along the v x direction already your speed is given the actual one in the equatorial orbit this is 7.905 7.905 kilometer per second. So, that means you need to change the velocity along the x direction by we will get this by subtracting from this place. So, delta v a x will be 9.728 minus 7.905 kilometer per second and this is 1.822 kilometer per second. Rest other direction we do not have any velocity initially. So, the corresponding velocity delta v a y this becomes 5.7 six one six kilometer per second and delta V A Z this becomes minus three point zero one kilometer per second. So, th this is the impulse required. So, this is impulse is required along the wider this says that this is to be applied along the negative z direction. Okay, so, uh, rest of the remaining things uh, I will discuss in the next lecture we close here today. Thank you very much.